Now, I've got a funny feeling that someone from my past, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I know who it is, is constantly talking about me. Um, talking about me to the other family members, um, other friends, uh, constantly talking about me. And they're afraid to have a face-to-face -face conversation with me and whatever. And they know that they, you know, in a way they, you know, did me dirty or whatever. Look, I know who it is. It's best that, you know, this individual goes their way and I go mine. There's no chance and no way in hell that things are going to be rekindled. So this individual can talk about me as much as they want and try to manifest me back. My ex-friend who's a female, and she knows who she is and she's probably, you know, set up multiple fake accounts. It's over. It's time for you to move on and, uh, you know, be happy and learn from your karmic lessons and do not repeat cycles. Now, I'm I'm not going to keep repeating myself, you know, like, okay, I, I, you know, it's got nothing to do with her kids because the kids are innocent in this and they're adults now. Well, one of them is, you know, 18 years old. They've got to live their own lives. They've got to have their own fun. You know, it was great knowing them when they were young. But, you know, sometimes you've got to cut those strings and you've got to let them fly and be their own, you know, individuals practically. You know, like, you know, I'll always have a soft spot for them, okay, because they're innocent. That's all of the kids are, even the ones that were taken off her. If all of them, the whole, the whole nine yards, they're innocent in all this. This individual, okay, my ex-friend, who I've known for a long time, and haven't seen also in a long time because she took off like a fucking maniac from what I was told um, by her brother and her nan um, on her father's side of the family. You know, look, I've got nothing against her brother, okay? I've got nothing against her nan, even though her nan's a little bit, could be a little bit aggravating from time to time, but that's a long story. But, you know, like, look, you know... The past is the past, and I prefer to leave it in the past, and I don't want to rekindle things with anyone from my past. So, like, I've got no peas with Josh, I've got no peas with his nana, or, you know, my best friend's, ex-best friend's kids, because they're all grown up now. Well, two of them are, the others are still quite young, they're getting there slowly. Um, yeah, like... But when it comes to trying to rekindle our friendship again, it's just not going to happen. I've got, I don't trust this individual anymore under any circumstances. I, and, and plus she's got a lot of, you know, a lot of self work to do. And, and that's that. And I really am not ready to sit down and hear, you know, sob stories and excuses and any of that crap. But I'm not going to be manipulated and have someone try to play fucking guilt trip games with me to make me feel sorry for them so I'll give them a third chance. I'm not like that. So, you know, and there's a lot of aspects of myself that I have changed and I've, you know, I've leveled up. So, you know, if she doesn't want to change certain aspects of herself to improve herself and to find herself again, that's not my issue. I've done all I could do in the past. I'm not, it's like kicking a dead horse. I'm not going to fucking keep doing it. You know, that's repeating myself over and over and over again with this individual. I just can't do it. You know, like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you be open and honest with her. You tell her what you think, whatever. If, it was like, if, I don't know, it was just like it went over her head or she didn't believe me with half the stuff I told her over the years, never believed it, me or something, I don't know. I just, I believe that to a major extent, it wasn't a genuine 100% real friendship because she would not be 100% open and honest with me about, you know, about certain things, you know what I mean, in her life and shit. So I can't have that anymore. I will not tolerate being manipulated, guilt trip games, and being lied to and, you know, be pussyfooted around. I just won't tolerate it. And drama, you know, arguing and whinging and whining about certain things, getting into fights, you know, drinking heavily, you know, doing drugs heavily. Like, I, I, I'm not into 
doing hard shit. Um, I never have and never will under any circumstances. I just won't do the shit. Green once in a blue moon. Okay, that's fine. I've got no issues with doing a bit of green. Everyone fucking does it. Well, most people do. But when it comes to fucking hard drugs, it's a big no-no for me. And I don't want to be around people who do it. Uh, and that's a major thing for me. So if there's anyone out there who does that shit and you want to be my friend, the answer's no. I don't want to know you. Um, in social media friends, okay, that's one thing. But meeting up face-to-face -face and hanging out is a no-no. You have to be 100% sober if you want to hang out with me. <laughs> you can't be too drunk or fucking, you know, because it, it's low vibrational and it's extremely toxic and I can't be around that. I'm an empath, for God's sake. You can just imagine what it will do to me just being in their presence. Drain the fuck out of me. <laughs> I'll be like, hi, how are you? <laughs> All fucking drained out, man. I can't fucking have that in my life. No fucking way. I need positivity. Joy. Happiness. Serenity. Peace. <laughs> That's what I want around me 24-7. Not fucking someone who's fucking all over the fucking place. That's one thing I can't handle. you got to be, you know, reasonable. You know? But hey, you know, I guess in a way, you know, me and my ex-friend did have good times, but I don't think it was good on my side. Like, you know what I mean? I was being genuine during those good times but to a certain extent I don't think she was secretly behind my back she'll probably backstab me to people say nasty things have paranoid weird thoughts about me and probably about my dad too but I when I look back on it at all and I have a look at the bigger picture and I analyze and I think okay and then I have flashbacks of the past and I'm like, oh, you know, how, how much of an idiot I was back then that I could not fucking see that. No. Nah. It was good when it, you know, when it lasted, but now it's just, nah. There's no point in even daring to go back there. So I, I prefer her to just, you know, <laughs> focus on herself right now, her self-healing, loving herself again. And doing all that, but doesn't mean you have to have me in that. You know what I mean? Like, I forgive her in that, you know, energetically, you know, on a spiritual level. But it doesn't mean I want her back in my life, though. And, yeah, it may piss her off and she'll be angry, but she'll, over time, she will, you know, heal from that hurt, from that blow you know, shocking bad news to her, and I guess. But I don't know. I, I just find it very strange how people, when they're in a friendship, they don't realise anything until that person's not in their presence for 10 years. <laughs> but, yeah, obviously I didn't mean anything to her. She just took off. Never kept in regular contact whatsoever, boys and girls. No, I'm not kidding. No phone call, no text. She didn't get her ass onto Facebook and send me a friend request or anything like that to keep in regular contact. She just took off. And I'm thinking, okay. <laughs> and I realise, okay, shit, you know. She doesn't really care. No. Nah. And then I'm thinking, okay. Now it's my turn, you know, to start questioning our friendship and looking back on the past and scenarios. And then I realise, shit. You know, what an idiot, what a fool I was. Well, not anymore. I've learnt a lot, boys and girls. And I'm not going to let any motherfucker get in my way.